Hi guys, I've been here. We're a day on from the 0-0 draw at home to West Brom. I apologise I wasn't able to get a review up straight after the game. Um, I was caught up in some stuff, but it at least allows me to kind of <clears throat> give a more considered sort of um, chat on the last week, the, the two results that we've just um, encountered, the home draw with Everton and the draw with West Brom last night. Obviously, straight after the Everton game, I uploaded uh, my review on that and um, was quite bold, quite... Um, uh, not controversial, but a bit more, a bit less on the fence with my comments. Um, you know, is it very heated at the moment? Stuff just like, just like what happened at um, after Spurs, um, and I probably would have given a similar sort of um, thing after West Brom. But having had a day to sort of mull it all over, um, <laughs> the thing that has bothered me most is is the people that are being so smart ass in hindsight and sort of having a go at those that maybe weren't so kind about Klopp's team selection against Everton and weren't so kind about Henderson and sort of said that Chan was a saviour or, or that Firmino and Coutinho's inclusion um, you know, give you a much greater chance of winning and sort of being like, well, look, who are you going to blame today? Henderson didn't play. I mean, uh, it's, it's very classic Liverpool take uh, Liverpool, Liverpool Twitter after these sort of um, sort of four or five day periods can be a very nasty place to be uh, opposition fans love it we we're all arguing, arguing amongst each other over Chan and Henderson as if you can only like one or the other and you have to hate one of them and you have to not rate one of them and, and all that sort of stuff um, as far as I'm concerned um, I still stand by the fact that if I had to choose one to play for Liverpool uh, it's Emery Having said that, he was dire um, last night and he does throw in the odd dire game. He's far from perfect. He's a frustrating player. He, As I said, after Stoke, he just refused to turn. Like When he received the ball, he takes so many touches. He's just not quick. He just, the, the dynamism isn't there. Um, technically, he he's very good. He's, you know, he can uh, he, he can score. He can, he, he can move well. His distribution is very good. Henderson technically suffers um, when he uh, you know when he's under pressure um, Vinaldum is a player I really rate but he again sank the place out it's he's kind of he plays well when we're playing well um, I, 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 do, I, do, I do still really like him but it does make you kind of you know call for Naby Keita you know is, we're kind of running out of midfielders to blame so to speak I mean I don't want to blame any of them that for what's happened in this past week, um, I am concerned about Henderson and that the, the fact that Chan's throwing in a stinker there doesn't change that. I'm not, I don't love one and hate the other. I want them both to be good at Liverpool. I know Emery Chan's probably going to leave and Henderson will stay and probably stay as captain, but um, doesn't. I haven't got an agenda against anybody. Um, I was frustrated with Jordan after Everton um, and thought it was about time I criticised him because um, I think his recent performances have. Uh, have um, warranted that and his apparent sort of lack of leadership and grabbing things by the scruff of the neck and sorting things out um, instead he still feels like he's playing within himself a little bit he's a bit nervous but you know I mean there's loads loads that you can say about what happened against West Brom I mean Sadio Mane's form now obviously becomes a bit of a concern we know he's a great player we know he's part of the the, 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 the Fab Four we know he's Obviously, what we saw of him last season, he scores goals for fun. He's a brilliant finisher, quick, powerful, strong, uh, everything you want in an attacking player. But he's had two shocking games. Um, wasted a chance against Everton when he should have squared it, and was pretty wasteful last night. Same can be said for Coutinho, who had an off night. And you do get the odd off night with him. I mean, he's obviously our best player, but you do get the odd off night. Um, and when one or two of them can't quite click. You're just looking for one person to drag you through. And we thought we got that with Solanke's goal. Um, Salah had a chance, Firmino had a chance in the first half. There were chances. Mane missed one when he flashed it just across goal. There were chances. And, and uh, top teams will have nights like that where you just need the, a, a, a crap goal to, to see you through. United beat Bournemouth 1-0 at home. I mean, how many times did Arsenal last season just get a spawny late winner through their own goal or a penalty or something? And we... I thought we'd, I thought that was a, I thought that was going to happen. Um, Slanky's goal gets disallowed, and then you know it's not United. Um, so look, 
Shit week, absolutely shit week. When we were all flying high after the seven goals against Spartak Moscow, we've been scoring for fun. Um, I think Liverpool fans can kind of get too carried away with that. Uh, I mean, I, I was delighted with that, but then we can kind of get too down about these. I mean, I, and obviously, you need to have put together a season in which there are less of these and more of those. And we're look, we're we're, we're on the cusp of doing something like that. Um, but this Liverpool performance, this this was a this was a Liverpool performance of September. You know, when, when we drew it home to Burnley, uh, it was similar. Uh, reminded me of this one. Um, it was a Liverpool performance of a lot of sort of first halves. Uh, in the weeks following that, we managed to see Huddersfield off in the end. We managed to see Southampton off. Uh, Maribor was another one that was quite boring at home until sort of we got the goal second half. That there have been some ones where you struggle to break down a, a, a bus that's parked, uh, but we kind of put all that behind us with, with all these goals we've been scoring recently. We thought we'd overcome those those woes and like the, the front four were clicking together and everything was starting to look nice and we were putting together a great run. And everyone was talking up our chances from silverware this season, um, and now we're taking these two setbacks. And you know, all hell's broken loose again. I don't know how to analyse what's happening. Um, I imagine most of the comments on this video are going to be spun, you know, negatively on how Liverpool are and how Jurgen Klopp's got a lot of things wrong. And he hasn't. He has got a lot of things wrong. I still think his in-game management could be better. Um, there is no secret that we we rotate more than anyone else in the league. There's no secret that last winter we burnt out. So. You know, we, we need to strike that balance of rotating, but not letting that diminish our chances of winning games. Because you, you know, you're putting our strongest players on the bench. Uh, there's injuries to consider. So look, it's, what, can, what, 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 what can you really do at the moment? It's you do, you're back to not knowing what Liverpool's going to turn up. I mean, my confidence going into those two last home games was sky high, and I'm still pretty confident going into Bournemouth. Um, you know, with them playing at home, Bournemouth, and having to probably come at us a bit. It's been a shit week. It's been a shit week, and it's it's causing so many arguments on social media and so much dispute that it's the Henderson versus Chan thing seems to be the most prominent debate. Uh, you got people wanting Gomez to go and play centre back, which I do understand. You got people wanting Trent to start more often again, which I understand. Um, so I mean, so much to, to kind of think about. I mean. Last night against West Brom, we, we missed we missed a few chances that we normally take. The Firmino one from six yards out, the Salah header, uh, Mane on the edge of the box. You know, there's a few chances there. We didn't pepper the goal. It wasn't one of those heroic goalkeeping performances. West Brom had a pretty comfortable night. They could have nicked it themselves. Um, you got the bizarre sort of change between Mignolet and Carius again. Uh, obviously, Klopp says Mignolet has a knock. Whether it's true, I don't know, but he does throw that in sometimes. Um, so just <laughs> so much kind of uncertainty around, around a lot of things but doesn't change from the fact that we've got a, we've got something going for us here we've, we've, we've got a great squad building um, you know the title's not going to be ours this year but we're still going to put together a points total that's going to be respectable I think I want to beat last year 76 I really want to break the 80 point mark um, it's always a good marker to, to stamp down and then we have we have to go again um, as far as this season's concerned Let's look, at, let's look forward to February, the Champions League in Porto. Let's, let's have a go at the FA Cup. Let's get some revenge on Everton. But in the meantime, we've got to rack up some points over Christmas. Bournemouth away, Arsenal away, Swansea home, Leicester home. You've got to be looking at nine points there, uh, minimum, to, to keep, 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 keep a flare. That's all you've got to do. You've got to keep picking up these points because other teams around us are also rotating and dropping points. Arsenal drew at West Ham. It's no excuse, of course. Arsenal have got a lot of imperfections just like us. Um... So, you know, just to sort of sum up, I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do a Bournemouth preview separately um, on Saturday, but look, I don't want to kind of sit on the fence and be, let's see what happened next, but then I don't want to be throwing the, you know, baby out of the bathwater. So it's, um, it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of stuck in the middle. I'm very frustrated with how it's gone. I'm very disappointed. I thought we'd sussed out how to, how to sort of be flat track bullies. Um, but two games on the bounce where we failed to be that rotation causing arguments, rotation causing a loss of momentum, which is 
something I really believe in. Uh, momentum was completely lost within half an hour against Everton, and then we failed to re regain it uh, last night. Uh, even with Coutinho, Firmino, Salah and Mane on the pitch. So, as much as I said after Everton that if we had those four all playing together, we'd have beaten them, I still stand by that. Um, <laughs> they, they, they've gone and they've gone and uh, maybe look at right tit by um, not being West Brom. So, uh, yeah, frustrating. Um, the, the, all, all these debates will go on. Um, January windows coming coming at us rapidly. Will we do anything? I doubt it, but you know we'll wait and see. And I'll be making videos obviously throughout, sort of looking at all transfer news and seeing what's going on. In the meantime, guys, please do subscribe if you're new. Uh, look out for my Bournemouth preview coming up in the next couple of days. Follow me on my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Keep the faith up the Reds. See you next time.